ဟောင်ကိုးရချောက်ဆက်ခုနာကိုနေမြန်မာနိုင်ငံတရားစီရင်ထောင်စာမျက်နာနံပါတ်ခြောက်ရရှစ်ဆက်တောင်းဦး
took place before the magistrate are such as are calculated to create in the mind of the applicant for transfer a reasonable or justifiable underlying its mind apprehension that he would not have a fair or impartial trial. In the instant case, the learned counsel for the applicants has taken exception to the question put by the trial magistrate and of his prohibiting some of the question which the witnesses had already answered. But this can hardly be said to be a good ground for transport of the case as it has been held in many cases that even the total disallowance of question in cross-examination is not a good ground for transport of the case under Section 526 of the Criminal Procedure Code. Please see Abdul Aziz Fas Karnash II, Le Bahada Fas Empire III, and Siwan Singh Fas Empire IV, Ulampi, Lenin Council for the Applicants, in the course of his argument before me, has drawn my attention to the fact that the applicant is an advocate of many years' standing and that he would not have applied for the transport if he had not been actually in apprehension of a fair and impartial trial, being not forthcoming in the present case. After what had passed between his clients and the trial magistrate, it is only reasonable on the part of his clients to fear that the court would be prejudiced against them. I do not, however, think that the fact that there has been some unpleasantness between the judge and the counsel could be considered a valid ground for transport of the case. Judges and magistrates are after all human, as also are the lawyers. They are subject to different moods according to the varying situations around them. Why official decorum would not permit a magistrate to indulge in senseless retort from the bench, he cannot be expected to remain mute without taking part in lively exchanges even to the extent of causing some unpleasantness to the counsel. As pointed out by Dada Mao Mao Jesh, as he then was in Uday Mao first, the union of Parma Phi, judges and magistrates have their outbursts of temper sometime in court and they have their bad moves now and then. Every angry word, every display of impatience from the bench does not give rise to a good ground for transport of the case which is before the court. The time-honored tradition of the bench and the bar is that, despite lively exchanges of what that often occur in court, harmony and understanding prevail, and at the moment of final decision, the judge or magistrate is capable of rising above passion or prejudice, of forgetting the anger or exasperation that he may have suffered during the long course of the trial and of giving impartial justice to the limits of his power. In the present case before me, the trial magistrate, in tendering an explanation to this court, has assured that he was still clear of all the unpleasantness that had occurred during the course of the trial before him, therefore reminding him once again of his duty to honor the tradition of the bench, I would hold that it is not a fit case in which the transport as applied for by the applicants should be granted. In the result, this application fails and it is hereby dismissed.